என்று விசித்து பார்த்த அருமையான சகோதர சகோதரிகளே பங்கு பெற கர்த்தர் அழைக்கிறார் so even as we were reminded through the word in psalms 46 this morning uh in psalms 46:1 it reminds us god is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble and those that trust in the lord those that bless the lord at all times and have tasted his uh, his love uh they are also invited at this time to take part in the lord's table one corinthians 10th chapter the book of first corinthians chapter 10 16th verse 16 First Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 16 it reads the cup of blessing which we bless is it not the communion of the blood of Christ the bread which we break is it not the communion of the body of Christ nam aashirvadikkira inda aashirvadathin appam paathram kristuvudaiya rathathinal ratham aayirukkirathu so again the blessing the cup of blessing that we bless it is the blood of Christ only nam prikka pogura inda appam அங்க ஒரே கிறிஸ்துனுடைய சரீரத்தில் ஐக்கியமாக இருக்கப்படினாலே and since we are reminded that this body that we are, the bread we are about to break is part of the body of Christ which we are all members of அதன் அப்பத்திலும் அந்த இரத்தத்திலும் பங்கு பெற இருக்கிற நாம் ஒவ்வொருவரும் ஒரே சரீரத்திலே ஆவிகளாய் நாம் காணப்படுகிறோம் the word reminds us that those of us be many even though we are many are from different places we are all part of this one body and one bread அதை நாம் அப்போஸ்தல் இரண்டாம் அதிகாரம் 42 ஆம் வசத்து பருவோம் in acts chapter 2 and verse 42 we come acts chapter 2 42 ஆம் வசனம் verse 42 it means and they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayer 46 ஆம் வசனம் கூட also verse 46 and they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart in the 42nd verse pragaram nam nam ovvoru varam nam devudaiya and the pandi aasirikkirom so even as uh, the principles were laid down and we were we see this in verse 42 we also observe the table week after week in the lord's house wonder avade upadesham namakku padipitha and upadesham first principle it talks about is the apostles doctrine sagodara sagodariyude sneham anbu then it talks about the fellowship of saints between brothers and sisters appam pirkiradal then it talks about the breaking of bread jabam pannudal inda naangu vidamana asibarkan mele inda sabai kattapadudal and the last principle is prayers and we are reminded that these are the four principles that our our uh, assembly is also built on in the four vidamana asibarathin moolamaga than nammude moota sagodaran kartha avarku velipaattu koduthe inda sabaiyude moola kaaranamai kanapadugirathu and we also realize that our forefathers uh, especially the founding fathers of this assembly uh, we realize that god had given him the vision uh, for this particular principles to be followed very strictly and we have to adhere to these principles and and this is why we uh, we have this format in our assembly we come back to 1st Corinthians chapter 10 verse 17 the book of 1st Corinthians 10 17 for we being many are one bread and one body for we are all partakers of that one bread namde anege jaadi madathra irundhalum kuda even though we come from many uh, many uh, parts of the nation ange inda pandile varumbodhu but when we come together or before this table apostle paul corinthian sabai eludumbodhu and when he when apostle paul writes to the corinthian church and ore appathile nam ellarum pangu pera pogurum he reminds us that we are all going to partake of one body and ore sharirathile nam pangulavala irukkapadinaale nam oru oru korvar nam parindhi pesa kudivallai kanapattom yesterday na nethu nethu and we see that because we are all partakers of this one bread and we are part of one body yesterday we were remind, yesterday we had the opportunity to um uh to to be uh, uh able to pray for one another to uphold one another uh, in prayer yeah, in the apostle paul in the panorama the article varumbodhu ஒன்னு 
uh, uh, Paul in 1 Corinthians 11.32, he says, but when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. So again, because that we should not be uh, judged by the Lord or condemned with the world, um, we, are, we are chastened, we are disciplined by the Lord. And this is why uh, the word of God is given to us week after week uh, by the servants of God that gives us the warning, the uh, admonition to take part in the table of the Lord. And then verse 28. It says, But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. And verse 29 tells us if we eat or drink unworthily, <laughs> the warning is that damnation will, will be upon us. Even if we eat or drink, the word of God reminds us uh, that we, whether we eat or drink, we should do so to the glory of God in 1 Corinthians 10.31. And, and then in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 21, the Lord is reminding us that we cannot partake of the Lord's table and the table of the devil. So if we, we adhere to the principles that we have heard, and especially if, as we were reminded this morning in Psalms 46, 1, if truly God is our refuge and our strength and we're able to trust in Him at all times, then uh, we, we are given this opportunity to examine our own selves and to take part. And there should be nothing hindering us, no obstacles in our lives that should hinder us from partaking in this, this table.